Well, hello you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Bayamente y tu y yo. And today I thought I'd bring with, bring you with, bring to you a budget and cash stuff for all of my nursing income that I received last pay period. It was a rather short check and I've already done some spending, but we can do a budget and recap everything that I've already done, as well as what I'll be doing with the rest you'll see here. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into the video. Okay, before we get started reviewing the budget and talking about what we have left to do a cash stuffing with, I do wanna make one huge public service announcement. If you don't hear anything else, hear this part of the video, okay? No matter what, I will never reach out to you via email or messages within the YouTube you know, video comment section in order to tell you that you've won something in my channel. Now, there's a couple of things that have been going on recently, and I guess some people received an email that did not sound like me. Shout out to those of you who actually came through and realized that it was not me. And there was about four of you, and I was gonna mention you by name. Hold on, let me get the information. Okay, shout out to Vivian, Holly, and Cheyenne. All three of you reached out to me over on Instagram and was like, hey, I received this email. This doesn't really sound like you. I know you probably haven't announced the winner yet. I know you don't typically announce in these ways. Like, you guys are the real ones. Thank you so much. Actually, Vivian, I think, was the first one to reach out to me, and I was like, what? Wait a minute. Emails? Hold on. Let me change my password. Let me work on some things and see if I can block. I couldn't even see the messages that they had sent you guys for this particular spammer. So, just be really, really careful. Um, and I'm going to try to figure out some way that I can do giveaways safely here on this channel because I want to give back to you guys. You guys give so much to me, but it's just become more and more difficult to do so. With that being said, on lives, I was strictly doing giveaways and now YouTube has kind of changed their algorithm. So just like with TikTok, you can swipe up if you're on someone's live, you can swipe up and it'll just take you to another person's random live. And if you haven't tried that feature, you should try it. I mean, because you might land in somebody's live that you're interested in, but you'll be in a live, you swipe up, it'll take you to someone else's, swipe up again, it'll take you someone new, someone new. With that being said, though, people can drop into my live who never have watched my channel before, who are not aware of what's going on, and now I'm doing a giveaway. And in the last live giveaway I had, I feel like there were a couple of winners who I've never heard of before, who never had commented before, who knew nothing about my channel, didn't even understand what was going on, but that they had just won something, and they were interested in receiving it. So I don't wanna do giveaways on lives. I figured that part out, not with the new changes in the way that lives are being processed on YouTube. I don't want to necessarily do giveaways from the video if it's going to span and spawn a bunch of spammers. I feel like people who don't know what's going on in this channel have the opportunity to be spammed and to be scammed, more importantly, because they're actually replying to some of these emails believing they've won. So a lot of people had told me, oh, thank you so much. I'm so thankful that I won, da 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 You know, and I don't want you guys doling out personal information to people that are just trying to get your information. You know what I mean? Like people that are trying to truly scam you. So I don't wanna be the vehicle that helps them to facilitate that scam. I have to figure out another way to do a giveaway. Maybe I'll set up some type of like link where you would go in and put your information and then I would pick from there. So basically at the bottom of the video, there would be an entry form that you would do and I would pull from those entry forms to do giveaways. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know, but I hope you stayed for at least this portion of this video so you can understand the reasons why I'm not doing giveaways on lives anymore and the reason why I'm hesitant about doing giveaways within videos because I want them to be safe for you guys. And that's just the bottom line. Anyway, now that we got all that out of the way, today we will be picking the winner from the last video. And I'm sorry it's so delayed. I truly meant to do it the very next day, but I had so many things come up and then I had to go to work a couple of days. So I'm back filming now and I will pick the winner of the last giveaway, which was for which was for these products that I said I would give away, which are the stickers, the cash breakdown sheet, the IOU, the scratch off, and then the roll and save extra card. And I'll be picking the winner for this at the end of this video. If you wanna fast forward to that, I'll put this timestamps down below. All right, let's get off into the budget for the week. All right, I'm gonna be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner 2nd Edition. This physical planner can be found on Amazon. The link is down below in my description bar always. They're very affordable on Amazon for ready for purchase. But if you want to digitally download the sheets to put it in whatever type of planner you would like, then you can head over to my Etsy store. My Etsy shop is still available only for digital download products. So you can head over there and digitally download as well. 
All right, let's move on into this book because you guys, I have not created a monthly budget and I'm creating havoc for myself from not having a monthly budget, okay? Um, monthly budgets are so important for me to keep ahead of what I've actually been paying or have not paid without flipping back and forth to all the pages. Also, um, I have been doing this monthly calendar spread so I can see when things are due and when I needed to pay things and I didn't do that for the month of July either. So we're gonna finish out July just roughing it, just out here winging it, just doing what we could do. But in the month of August, I'm gonna need to set that up absolutely because it helps me so, so, so much. All right, let's talk about the budget. This check was my nursing check that I received um, about a week ago and I do have a magic month coming up in the month of August. I am going to be using that first check in August, a lot of it towards Janae's um, housing costs that she has for college through the college binder. We're going to finish that out. But I did not work so many hours this last pay period because as you guys know, I was traveling to Seattle and, you know, doing other things. I only worked four days total in the pay period and I ended up with $1,879. Um, and that was my net check after, you know, health insurance and things like that. So out of that, I've already been paying some bills. I paid Georgia Power, my Georgia Power bill. Can we have a moment of silence for the old Georgia Power bill that I used to love in the $100 range? Yeah, my Georgia Power bill is $432 for this month. And I think it's just because we were running the air and we weren't even here all of the month, which is the craziest part. Like a lot of last month we were gone, but I think it was just running the air conditioning. And we've been having a heat wave here in Atlanta with summer being up on us. So $432 is my Georgia Power bill I had to pay. Line of credit, $130. My lawn care, I paid $100. And that's because it's typically only $40, but he had to put some weed killer down and some more seeds to help my grass to grow green now that it's raining out here. And then stream, $136. That came up to $798 and I had $1,081 left. Out of there, I've been spending money. Groceries, I spent $500. Now, I did some groceries for here, but I also spent about $200 out of that $500 towards Janae's apartment having groceries and her getting what she needed. So that's where the total $500 came from my house and Janae's house. Um, nails, I spent $60, which I am still loving my nails. You guys, they are bomb. Eating out, we spent about 160 and that just comes from me working and not having the groceries in-house. So at first, before I bought groceries, we just were eating out. Janae was here before she went back home. She's back home now. But before she went back home, you know, if I was buying, I was buying for the three of us. So the 160 added up and I've already spent this money. Gas, I spent 25. Kids, I spent 25, I'd say, on snacks. I tried to look back on my bank statement and see what I had already spent out of the check. Because I just got the check not even a week ago and it's already almost gone. Weekend fun, um, $90, and that's just because we did some activities as a family before she went back. All right, all that, that was $860 that we had spent, and so the total remaining is $221, and that's what I have here to cash stuff. I put the $1 bill back into my ones and fives, and we'll be putting that in Big Bertha, but $220 will be cash stuffing. I thought about putting some into a travel binder, but I've been doing so much traveling recently. I said, I'll just put it into savings challenges in general. And I do have a master plan for completed savings challenges. I keep speaking about it, but I haven't filmed the video for it. So just know that it's soon to come. All right. So we'll be putting $220 into savings challenges. And that is going to wrap up this nursing check. Now you still have a YouTube check that'll be coming up. I think tomorrow I get paid from that. Also, I have some book sales that I'll be getting paid from when you guys buy my books on Amazon. I get paid from that. But also I have some Amazon affiliate money, which is when you actually click any of my link down below to get to the Amazon storefront. When you purchase anything there, I get a portion of that commission as well. So I have three more checks that are coming in this month and I'll be able to take care of my mortgage with that. And I think I told you guys my mortgage was reduced only to 800. That starts in the month of August. So that'll be a blessing, right? So yeah, I feel like there should be plenty for me to finish off the month and even finish up some challenges in this month. And I'm super, super thankful and excited about that. But next month, um, I think I'll have quite a bit more income only because it is a magic month for my nursing job. Also for this week coming up, as well as this past week, I've been working extra hours. So my check should be more than double this amount on the next pay period that I get, which is how I'll be able to fund my daughter's housing. You understand? All right, I think that's all the explaining I need to do about the budget. We have $220 plus the dollar going into Big Bertha, and I think I have a couple of fives for Big Bertha as well. So let's get started into the cash stuffing portion of this video. All right, I have my cash envelopes here. There is nothing in these bad boys. Ugh, I gotta do better. My first check, um, 
that I get tomorrow from YouTube. I'll probably put a little bit in each one of these so I'll make sure I have some for the next week until I get my next nursing check. So that's my cash envelopes. I do have some money to go in Big Bertha, a few fives, and then that one one that I put in here. So let's get Big Bertha out and throw that in. Here's my ones and fives jar. If you guys didn't see it, I did counter it for quarter two. I'll put a video up here so you can see how much is in there. But for right now, we're just gonna drop the money down in there and that is it. I'll count her up at the end of third quarter and we'll see how much we have in there then. And that's gonna be it for the cash wallet for right now. I don't think, I don't, do I even have coins? Oh, I have a few coins. Mm. I'll put them in Venus and Fiona next time because I do have a few coins in there, but I'll get them out next time. So that's it as far as my cash envelopes are concerned. All right, let's go ahead and count up the cash that I have left for cash stuffing, which will be $221. I did get some small bills because I knew I'd mainly be doing savings challenges. I have not put anything into my sinking funds in the longest time, and I can tell you guys they are bone dry. I mean, there's a couple of them that have a few things, but there's hardly anything in there because we use beauty for beauty, groceries when we needed it, um, travel, you already know I use that money. I use the money for me, Jace, and Janae whenever I need it to. Um, what else do I have? What are my categories? There's hardly anything in that binder, so I do need to beef that back up, and that's gonna be my goal before the end of the year. No stress. You know, no stress because if I do have all of my savings challenges completed, I could reallocate to sinking funds if that's what I wanted to do. I don't think that's what I'm going to do though. I have a different plan for that. But um, yeah, you know, there's really no pressure. I have quite a bit of completed challenges and I'm working on completing some others. So we're just gonna work our way through saving and not really be so concerned about sinking funds right now. But trust me, before the end of the year, I'm gonna get those sinking funds back up. All right, let's go ahead and count up what we have for savings challenges today. There's 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 2, 5, 10, 15, 220 dollars. You guys, I'm trying to get my TikTok going. Um, and I think I'm gonna put more budget content over there, not just savings challenges, but actual budget instructions, like how to budget your check and things like that. So if that's something that interests you, follow me here on TikTok. Head over there so I can um, actually get my followers up. I think I'm at like 4,500. I would really love to get to 5,000 by the end of next month. So if you could follow me over there, that's doing me a strong one. I appreciate you guys for that. Love you for being here too though, right? All right, so that's $220. Let's see, what are we going to do? When you have no plan, you go to the savings box because I'm trying to finish section six. And I know it has 50 in there. Let's put another 50. I can at least do that today. And that's 20, 40, 50. So now this section has $100. That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. If you guys are interested in making one of these savings boxes for yourself, there are 12 sections, four numbers per section. And as you complete the sections, you mark off each section here on the tracker that's in the front of the box. I did make a video that explains how to make this yourself and all the supplies you would need in order to do so. I'll link that up here. And if you're interested in making yourself a box, go for it. The digital download of the actual template is over on my Etsy store. So after you watch the video, if you think it's something you can complete, head over there and purchase the template, very affordable. Next up, I'm gonna move on to Monopoly Cash. And I have some big numbers left, but I wanna complete this challenge this month. So wait, where's 95? Oh, right here. Okay, so I have 85, oh, 95 and 100. Okay, we'll put that 200 in there later. Let's go ahead and do 85. I wanna complete this challenge by the end of this month, so I have some work to do. 20, 40, 60, 80, five. 20, 40, 60, 85. Yay, I'm excited though, because if I get this one done, that's also gonna go with my completed challenges. Um, that I have the plan for. So just know that'll be happening soon. And now I literally have 10 sections completed. Oh my goodness. 10, yes, yes. I know that word. And I have two more left to do. 
And then this is the tracker. I will be reselling these in my Etsy storefront whenever I relaunch in September. That is the Monopoly Cash is what I'm calling mine. You're able to title yours whatever you want as well as pick your own vinyl colors. So, but for right now, that's the Monopoly Cash. Next, I wanna be a daredevil and work on the Multiply Me box. Oh, you guys, I, I'm actually kind of scared to do it. I'm kind of scared. Um, I've scared myself. Uh, because you wrote, what I did was started adding the, the use of the dice into the Monopoly cash. I mean, into the, into the Multiply Me box. And what you do is roll a die, just one. And if you land on section one, you save something there. Section two, something there. Section three, something there. Section four, I've already completed. If I roll four, I'll pick my own, right? Section five, you roll there. Section six would be a five times a number. And you guys, I'm not kidding. I don't even know when I'll ever be able to do five times 50. That's $250. But for right now, let's just roll and see what we get. Eh. Oh my God. <laughs> because he shines up on thee. I got a two. I love that for me. All right, so that's gonna be $11. Let me see section two. One, three, four, two, two. Oh no, okay, so I have no change and I need either 11, 12, or 18. Let's put 15 and I'll mark off number 12. We'll just put a little extra. Since it was so kind to me, we'll do this one. Now it has 25 in section two. Oh, I love that. I was really, really, really nervous and I feel like I wanna do it again. That would just be too much of a daredevil move, and we'll do that when we get our YouTube pay. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to do that today because I'm not even trying to play with myself. You feel me? I'm not trying to play myself, which is what will happen if I end up hitting five times 50. Uh, yeah, no, ma'am. That's the multiplier. This one will be coming back as well once I reopen my Etsy store. Okay, how much do I have left? 10, 20, 30, 40. I mean, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I really, really, really want to get off into Shine and Save. Guys, I want to get off into the Shine and Save, but I know she's reaching because the numbers can be all the way upwards of 70. Okay, so these come in five different sections. Quarter one, which I've already completed. Quarter two, I've already completed. Quarter three, I need to start. Quarter four is not till quarter four. And then shine is the bonus section. And I was trying to finish this one. I wonder if something, but the numbers can be anywhere between one and 80. Let's just see. Oh, God. Come on, come on, kind spirit, be with me. This look like something huge. Oh no, it ain't. Oh yay. <laughs> look, I saw an eight and I was like, don't tell me it's 80. Like out of all the numbers. Out of, out of numbers. Oh, and I fixed my vacuum. Somebody in the comments said, take the lid off and clean it out. And it stopped all that crazy rattling noise. And now he works again. Listen how beautiful. All right, so there's that. <laughs> so 18, not bad at all. I think I had some extra in here already. I think I had three extra in this section. Hold on, let me add this up. Because one other time I didn't have change, I put three extra. So if that's the case, I only need to put 15. So let's see, 67, 18, 35, 68, 56, 5, 62, 21. I should have 332. What do I have? 51, 52, 53, 10, 15, 16, 17. Did I add that right? Oh, plus 18. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. Minus 18. Okay, I should have 314. 51, 52, 53, 310, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I have 317. Okay, so I have $3 too much. So that means if I scratch 18, I can literally only put 15 and I'll be back to my number. Should be back in the game, y'all. Wait, hold on. Let me see. What? What? Wait a minute. What was I supposed to have? Plus 18. Okay, so I should have 332 now. 51, 52, 53, 10, 20. 25, 30, 31, 32. Turn, turn up. It's all working out for me today. 
And I only have two more sections in the bonus one, but I really need to get to working on section three. So I'm gonna do this in some of my reels when, and maybe in my regular videos when I get my YouTube check. That is Shine and Save. Introducing my Unbreakable Piggy Bank. I've never stuffed this on here. I only use this for shorts and reels, but I'm gonna do it because I wanna stuff in the Easy Cash Save More Money Challenges book edition. And I've moved on to pack, pack your bags. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a little short up here to explain how I've already completed. I'm trying to do them in order. I've completed three. I'm on the fourth challenge now and it goes in this box. So I gotta put this box on the table, bam. Um, and let's see, I wanna do one, two, what do I have? One, two, 10, 20. Okay, let's do two little squares, two. Yeah, let's do two little squares of this. So hold on. Let's do this $10 up here. I just started this challenge the other day. And let's do this $10 right here. That's 20, should I do one more? Let's do one more. All right, so that's $30 that I'm gonna add to this challenge, pack your bags. This one will save me $750 when I'm done. So we're gonna add 30 in here, 10, 20, 30. You know what, let me put this $20 bill and a 10. Why am I playing with all these little bills? Why? Um, and we're gonna put it directly in here. At the end of the year, I'm gonna count up this whole box and see how much I have. So I do wanna add more to it, you know, so I can have a bulk of money at the end of the year from this book. And all the challenges from this little book is going in here, except for the 100 envelope box that goes into my stack more money challenge, if you haven't been here, but we're not gonna put anything in there today. All right, so what do I have left? Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. Huh, okay, so I have $25. Let me go to my savings challenge binder. Okay, I definitely can't do this, I don't think. Wait, let me see, what was this? I feel like that's gonna be a big number left, so let's not do that one. Okay, let's do some of this scratch off. One, two, three. I don't think I have enough for all that. Let's start with the scratch off come from Katie Budgets Designs. This one should add to $100, so these numbers shouldn't be too, 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 too big. 12, okay, I think I have some change in here too. All right, so 12 on that one. Should I try one of these? Ooh, okay, let's try this Cyber Monday. Ooh, wait, what is that? Okay, uh, should I? 12. Nah, let me not play with myself. Let me not play with myself because I don't have time. Okay, I'm gonna end up having a uh, oopsie owsie or something. And I need $12 and I need to find some ones. Let me see, flower scratch off. I don't think I have, the quarterly challenge is what had all the ones. Hold on, let me see what this got. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Quarterly challenge will be coming through, through. Uh, hold on. Cause I didn't do bingo was his name Oh, I got things to do, you see what I'm saying? So I can't be scratching too much today. We are gonna get to that soon enough, but it won't be today. All right, with that being said, we back over here with the scratch offs and I need to add $12. And that's 10, 11, 12. All right, so now with the scratch off challenges, remember this also included the $595 for my large scratch off cards, the one from KD Budgets and the two from Syndicat Budgets. So there's quite a few scratch offs going in here. So that's 1, 52, 53, 54, 55, 20, 40, 60, 86, 620, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 672 dollars that we have in this scratch off challenge envelope. And we're still gonna be working on more. Yay, I'm excited. I'm excited about that. 
All right, so that's that. So now what do we have? Okay, let's do a bingo was his name mode because I think one of the bingos is $13. And if we hit that, that's exactly what we need. Um, but I need to get the wheel and spin and see what's going on. So let me get this savings challenge binder off the table. All right, here is the budgeting besties bingo. And this is a challenge that we've been doing for some time. I think it started back in April. Oh my goodness. And so now we're going to, because I haven't been so consistent in picking a number every single video, but we are going to pick one today. And the biggest number is 13. That's why I saved $13. We only have a few more to roll. If we hit 13, we hit bingo. Almost. Almost. Nope. Nope. Yeah, we haven't quite hit bingo. Oh, this one will hit bingo if we hit that. So anyway, let's go ahead and pull up the wheel and let's take a spin. All right, so I'm going to shuffle, 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 and then we're going to spin. You guys saw it jump. I I couldn't I couldn't plan that if I wanted to. And that is Bingo was her name o. We have hit Bingo. I might keep going to get a blackout, but for right now, we're going to do the dollar sign and we get to pick a dollar amount that we want to put in the Bingo challenge and I'm going to put $3. So I can keep my 10 for something else. Let me get my binder. And it's going back here in the Budgeting Besties Bingo. Budgeting Besties Bingo. There's a lot of ones in here too. So far we have 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81 dollars in the Budgeting Besties Bingo. How much do you have? Let me know down below if you got something different than I got. But that's what I have so far. And we did hit Bingo. Let me color in the B so we'll know that whole row is done. There's no more reds. And I'm gonna remove it off of the screen. And we're going to continue to play this game because I wanna do a blackout. Oh, let me write it down right here. We did B dollar sign on today's date is the 21st. And there's that. If you guys are interested in getting this actual tracker, it's down below in all of my descriptions of my videos. You can play along. You can either go back and do all of these pools that are listed here. So you too would have $81, or you can start from scratch by creating your own wheel on Wheel of Names and picking your own. All right, so that's that. Now, before we do something with this last $10, and since the computer is already open, let me go ahead and get picking of the winner for the giveaway from the last video. All right, to get started, we're gonna go to the Happy Mail Cash Stuffing and a Giveaway video, and we're gonna click on TubeBuddy right here, and we're gonna go to pick a winner. Now, we're gonna put in certain words because remember I had hashtag giveaway as the comment that you needed to do. Thank you to everybody who entered, and I am so sorry again about the spammers. Let's go ahead and pick a winner and see who's gonna win that little package. The winner is gonna be Marilyn Miller 5158. She says, always enjoy following love the japan trip segments hashtag giveaway ah yay marilyn i'm so happy you won so yeah reach out to me over on instagram i'll put my instagram handle here on the screen just go ahead and reach out to me over there and that way i can connect with you and get your address and get your product shipped out to you i'm super excited that you won thanks for watching and being a part of the journey all right so we have ten dollars left and i'm sure you're asking what are we going to do with this and i know exactly where it's going believe it or not we're going to start our quarter three quarterly challenge and i put the um bookmark yes you can i'm sure there's a ten dollar square somewhere on this page a key right here right here here it is let's do orange feeling that we're gonna color in this 10 and we're gonna do our first square in quarter threes quarterly challenge this quarterly challenge equals up to oh my god you guys my kindergarten skills are on point mira mira she stayed in the lines this time it's the first there's a first for everything um <laughs> the, the um quarterly challenge goes from july august and september and i've not put anything in july so we needed to get on that asap or rooney Hence the reason why I'm doing it, but we will be putting much more in just a little bit. Just you wait and see. 
All right, $10 is going in here. So there is 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 3, 10, 3, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82. 382, is that what I said? 1, 2, 310, 320, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72. Wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on, sorry. 1, 2, 250, 70, 90, 310, 320, 330, 340, 345, 50, 355, 60, 365, 70, 72. $372 is in there so far. I will take it, which means we should be somewhere around $600 by the end of quarter three. How exciting. How exciting. Because I feel like this one doesn't take a lot, yet it does move quickly. Hey, let me know if when I return back for um, my Etsy store, if you guys would like these type of clear A6 envelopes. Let me straighten up the money, y'all. It's bothering me. These type of clear A6 envelopes with hollow um, lettering. It would only be hollow lettering because too much colors has caused problems. But it would be like this type of lettering um, on any of the envelopes. Let me know if that's something that interests you because I might put those for sale in the Etsy shop. I just wonder if that's something you guys would like. All right, so that is it. We have completed the cash stuffing for this video. I'm telling you guys, a little bit can go a long way. It just depends on where you're putting it. I'm almost done with Monopoly Cash. We completed some of the savings box. We did a little bit into my pink box, which I'm super stoked about, which is my pack more bags challenge, pack your bags challenge. We put some into the quarterly challenge. What else? Oh, uh, budgeting besties bingo challenge. We've done quite a bit. I want to restart my character box. It's still full from the last time, but I'm going to be unstuffing it soon when I, you know, do something with all the savings challenges and I want to restart this box soon too. I love this one as well. Let me stack it over here with my girls. Come on over here. Come on over there. There we go. All right. So I think that is everything for this video. Let's see. I do have a couple of tutorials coming out soon. Again, if you're interested in budgeting information, please follow me over on TikTok because I'm going to start posting a lot of budgeting content. Don't forget, be mindful of the scammers and the spammers that are out here. You guys are trying to get us. If you have any ideas as to how I can do a safe giveaway, please let me know down in the description. I mean, please let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you because I love giving back to you guys and I want it to be fun, but I also want it to be those that are actually supporting my channel and not just giving to the world, you know, the world out there that I don't even know. All right. <laughs> so anyway, I think that is everything for today. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I'm putting out a video because honey, we are growing over here. Also like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who can understand that even when you pay all your bills and you only have minimal amounts left, you still can save small amounts that will add up to big amounts in the end. Share this video with someone if you think they need the inspiration and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. I am so excited that I'm off for the next few days. Content is coming, y'all. So I'll see you soon. Take care. You said bye too? Okay.